Today, I've got a quick 20 minute full body flexibility routine. We're gonna be working for 40 seconds and transitioning for 20 seconds. Feel free to jump right into the stretches once you're in position, but I'm giving lots of time for you guys to transition. We will need a yoga block for today's workout. We're gonna jump right in with bootstrap or squats. So let's bring our feet to our normal stance, uh, squat stance and go ahead and grab onto your toes. And we're gonna go back and forth between straightening the legs for a hamstring stretch, then flattening the spine and sitting in a deep squat. Let's get warmed up. Okay, let's move into a basic standing pike. So hamstring stretch. We'll stand with our feet together. Actively press your knees straight so your thigh muscle is tight the entire time. And then from here, try to have more weight in your toes than your heels. So your hips are stacked over your heels and we'll reach for the ground, stretch the hamstrings. from the standing pike. Let's step the right foot back and we're moving into a lizard stretch. So let's take our back knee down onto the floor and in this position, try to have your left shin vertical. And if you're able to bring your elbows to the floor to stretch the left side groin. Okay, so let's keep our legs in the same position and come up onto the hands. We're gonna keep the right hand on the floor, turn the left hand back, and then grab the outside edge of your right foot. To increase the stretch, sink your hips down to the floor, twist back and pull your back heel to your bum to stretch the right quad. We're just going to do the same sequence on the other side. So let's bring the right leg forward. Left knee is going to be on the floor for a lizard stretch. You can bring your elbows down to the floor. Keep your back as flat as you can to stretch the right side groin.
Okay, let's come on up to the hands. Keep the legs where they are. <clears throat> We're gonna turn, keep the left hand on the ground. Turn and reach the right hand for the outside of the left foot. Sink your hip to the floor and pull the heel to the bum to stretch your left side quad. Come to hands and knees. So try to keep your hips stacked directly over your knees and we're gonna walk the arms out in front for a puppy dog stretch and bring the chest down toward the floor. We're trying to bend the spine backward. So reach your chest down to the floor while keeping your hips stacked over top of your knees. a seat in a pancake position. So have a seat on the bum, the legs open nice and wide, wide as you can. And try to sit so that your sits bones are on the floor and tailbone is off the floor. And from here, I'm gonna fold forward into a basic pancake. up nice and tall keep the legs in this pancake position we're going to take the right hand and lean the body and reach your right hand towards your left foot while staying in this pancake position you can use your left elbow on the inside of your thigh as leverage to get the biggest side bend you can and reach towards the foot same thing on the other side so reach your left arm up and over towards your right foot and then you can use your right elbow on your inner thigh as leverage to twist the body straight Just go ahead and reach for the foot and twist we're stretching the side of the body
Okay, so we'll bring the legs out in front. Have a seat with the legs out straight and bring your hands behind you for a basic bicep stretch. Closer together is harder. With your hands further apart is a little bit easier. And then from here, to increase the stretch, walk your hips forward for the bicep stretch. into a kneeling calf stretch. So let's take a knee with the left foot forward. And then from here, we're gonna try to get the knee, left knee, to go as far past your left toes as you can without letting your heel lift. And use your body weight to lean into the stretch and feel it low in the ankle here. Grab the block, we're gonna do a standing calf stretch on that same leg. So put the left foot, ball of the foot on the block. And we're gonna actively press the left leg straight and reach for the floor. And then to increase the calf stretch, bring your hips forward, stacked more over your knee and stretch the high calf. Same thing on the right side. So let's take a knee. We'll do a kneeling calf stretch on the right. So try to keep your foot flat. And then you're gonna use your body weight to try and get your knee as far past your toe to feel the stretch somewhere low in the calf. As soleus is what we're aiming for. You can also think about pulling your toes off the ground to increase the stretch. standing calf stretch on the side so let's come stand up we'll bring the right foot onto the block right leg's gonna stay nice and straight squeeze the thigh and then to increase the stretch shift your hips forward to get the stretch high in the calf behind the knee Okay, 
All right, we can put the block aside. Let's bring the feet nice and wide for a Cossack, static Cossack. Bring your feet as wide as your wingspan. We're gonna bend the left leg, keep the right leg straight, and sit down as far into a Cossack squat as you can. With a perfect world, sitting the thigh right along the floor, chest tall. Same thing on the other side, so let's slide on over. Right leg is gonna bend, left leg stays straight, and we'll sit down into the Cossack squat, trying to sink the thigh right onto the floor. Chest nice and tall, and you can use your arm as leverage to push your right knee out to the side. So let's keep our feet where they are, nice and wide. And we're gonna move into a standing pancake. So let's take the hands and interlace them behind your back. And we'll start by pressing the shoulders down and expanding the chest. And then we'll do a pancake stretch from here. And then you can also stretch the shoulders by leaning the arms forward. Try to reach your chin to the floor. finish off with a nice one with a prone pec stretch. So lie down on your stomach, bring your arms to W, so 90 degrees. We're gonna take the left shoulder and place it on the floor and look to your right and place your head on the floor. Use your right arm to rotate your body towards the right and you can bring your foot over for leverage to stretch the left side pec. Same thing on the other side, so bring your right arm to 90. Look to the right side, or to the left side, and put your right shoulder on the floor. Lay the head on the floor. And then we can use a left hand for leverage to rotate to the left and step your leg over to stretch your right side pec.
is time. That was a wonderful 20 minute stretch. Thanks so much for joining me today. Guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. Helps the channel out a lot. We have over 75% of our watchers are not currently subscribed. Help us out. Thank you so much for joining and we'll see you guys in the next one.